Hi there, I am Dokus, and today we'll get you started with your ATOS Q. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change to a small measuring volume. Feel free to pause at any point to follow along. There are also chapter segments if you wish to skip ahead. Let's get started. What we have here is a precision graphite electrode for tool mating. It's very important that we have the most detail possible to measure this part. To do this, I can switch measuring volumes. Switching measuring volumes is very easy. I just demount the lenses and put in new ones. To do that, I need my three lenses. One for the left side, one for the right side, and one for the projector unit. All the information is written on the lenses. First, you see the measuring volume. In this case, I will be changing to the measuring volume 170. Then you see an L for the left camera, an R for the right camera, and a P for the projector. Left and right are seen from the sensor's perspective. Before changing the measuring volumes, I will first shut down the system. Now it's safe to detach everything and to remount the necessary tools. We start by removing the housing. These protective caps make sure that I cannot damage the lenses while scanning. Make sure you use the provided caps to protect all the lenses. Now we can change the lenses one by one. I will start with the left side. So I will prepare my left lens. I don't use brute force to tighten the lenses. Just hand tight is fine. Now I can remount the protective caps. When everything is mounted, it's time to boot the sensor again. When the light is blue, the sensor is booted and we're ready to go. Now we have to define in the software which measuring volume is mounted. To do this, I go to the setup workspace. The first button allows me to tell me to the software which lenses are mounted. I select the correct measuring volume and I click on next. When the measuring volume is changed, we need to calibrate the sensor. But first, the system has to warm up to make sure that everything is stable. We now need to calibrate our new measuring volume. To do this, I need a calibration plate. A calibration plate is a pre-measured set of points, which we need to calibrate the complete measuring volume. Thanks to the magnetic foot on the bottom, I can easily switch it with our plate. I can now go to the software and start the calibration procedure. I do this by clicking on the calibrate icon. The calibration plate is automatically identified, so after filling in the temperature, I can start. The software guides me through the complete procedure. On the right-hand side, you see a sketch with the position I need to take and a description of the correct position. I will start by putting the plate in the correct position now. I move the sensor to the desk stand, so it's very easy to play with the height. The two laser points help me to determine the center of the measuring volume. 
When the correct position is reached, the software tells me optimum position and I can take my first scan. I can follow all the instructions now and take all the positions that I need to calibrate the measuring volume. When all the steps are taken, the calibration is finished. The software will now combine all the data that we've captured to calibrate the sensor. We can see here that we have two green check marks, which means the calibration is succeeded. I click on OK and I'm ready to measure. Let's mount back our electrode. Scanning works the same as usual. I start a project, make a first scan, and I start capturing data. Thanks to the small measuring volume that we have mounted now, we have the highest data we can capture with this electrode. If you experience anything different from what you have seen here, or if you have any issues with your ATOS Q, please reach out to us via handsonmetrology.com. For more tutorials, please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.